Right, this is going to be a Try It Tuesday and I'm going to make some pockets but it's going to be in reverse instead of the, so it's very good for scrapbooking paper. This is quite thin, okay, but you can do it in medium weight. Any paper will do, but preferably because I'm going to collage this side, then it's um, one-sided, all right? So I've got a lot of one-sided. Double-sided is fantastic as well, don't get me wrong, but I've got a lot of spare one-sided. And I've cut mine, yeah, we're just going to make a pocket. I've cut mine to about uh, five and a half inches because I want my five and a half inches by 12 because I haven't touched the end because um, I want my pocket to be four and a half inches. Okay, now when I score, I have to be a bit gentle because this is only thin paper. Okay, so mine is five and a half by 12. All right. And on the long side, I score down at half an inch. Um, if you do, if you've got different sizes left, then you just have to, you know, do what what you can with what you got. You know, it might only be four inches, then you'll get a three inch pocket. So, but these ones I've cut down, so but it's great for getting rid of some of your scrapbook papers. And I quite like that pattern, so that inside a pocket will look lovely. Right, and on the short side, okay, I want my flat, my first flat, to be about one and a quarter inches. Yeah, so I'll do a score line at one and a quarter. Okay, and my, because I've already measured it, and by the way, I, when I, how I measure it, is I'll put that flat down, okay? This is just a thing that I do when I don't know the size. Once I know the size, I'm all right. And then I will bring that up to sort of where I want it there. And I will look here. So that would be, say, scored at five and a half would be all right. So I'll just show you on this one. So I'll score now at five and a half. Okay. And I will check that that is all okay. Not it. It's a bit wonky, but that's all right because it's only paper. So that's fine. All right. Just got, got a little gap there that I like okay so now I open out and I can tell where it needs to be okay so I need to score neck the next ones I do I know I'll score it one and a quarter and then six and three quarters okay and then half an inch on the long sides so I've got my score line and you can write that down so you don't forget that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and do a few more of those Okay, so there we have. Okay, I'll just show you what to do. It's quite an easy pocket. These have been around for a very long time. I'll do it that way so you can see. Okay, I'll cut up this inside score line. Okay, then I might uh, there. Doesn't really matter what it's like, not like that. And then I'll come in just before there and mitre that. So you've got a triangle to cut out there. Okay, so I just cut it an angle up to there, up to the flat, and then cut inside that. And the same goes here, inside that score line. Then miter away. Come up here. inside that score line that's done there we go and then I'll fold these over be nice to burnish those a bit now I would ink these here because you might see the tops so you could just ink the top so yeah you might just see those bits there yeah. So there might have to do a bit of adjustment on this one. Oh, I was way out, Andrea. Have I come on the inside? Yes. Might not have cut my paper straight, so it doesn't help. If that happens, just get it straight like that. Okay, that one's alright. It's a little bit tiny bit this side look 
on the other side that's the nothing to see when it's done so there we go okay and then what i do is i fold over this one's quite thick scrapbook paper actually but i fold over there I don't you know score that or fold it properly i just do it like that and then i will just slightly around those edges a little bit of a point there so take that off and there's our flap there we go and now yeah next thing i do before i forget is ink up those top bits here so i'm going to collage these Ink up that as well, just in case. Do I need to do that? But I, I'm not sure, so <laughs> I haven't made one yet. <laughs> so I'm just thinking around there in case, all right? <laughs> Might need, not need to do all that. All right. So, right, so after you've cut around, it's time to collage, okay? So I'm going to sort of go with what I'm doing. Um, I've got some of my the green collage kits but I've also got some of the taperology out of that big box okay which is here and I've got a little bit of um what's it William Morris <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> Morrison William Morris uh, yes and some plain just yeah because you've got to bulk out you know what we're doing because we want too much patterned because I want to you know add something else to it uh, like I say nice inside to the envelope which is upside down because i can't read because i literally i can only just see that writing so never mind okay it's only yeah you can only just see it really let's do something I'll butt up a little bit there, but you can trim because you haven't shut the envelope anyway, so and trim if need be. And this is out of the tape tapeology um that sort of mixed bag in the brown envelope. Loads that absolutely loads of stuff in there. Let's have one of these. So I'm incorporating that because there's loads of it and also it'll in keeping with what I'm doing so just need to It's going to stick anywhere. Now I'll do the back. Yeah, it's very hot today again in the UK. And glue, glue sticks aren't brilliant in heat. <laughs> I do go a bit gloopy. find it the quickest thing when I'm videoing to use.
just I'll leave that alone now okay and then I will trim off okay. right, when I'm here I shall do that bit there right, let's have a look Ooh. yeah got to be in it <laughs> Okay, and leave that dry and then cut around once it's all dry. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to do a few more. So, right, so that's all done. Okay, now I'll put the little circle things, the policy envelope things there. I've got this journaling card that I think that's one of the ones I scanned in, I think. And I think I'm going to do an inch. I think I'm going to do them quite big. Usually I do three quarters of an inch. Let's see look how big that is. Mm, no, I'm going to do three quarters. No, a little bit too big, I think. Let's do that first. I want a bit of this nice writing, so... <laughs> okay this is quite thick so i don't need to back it usually i'll do two and put together oh, i don't know i just might i don't know what that is Another like that. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Now you can glossy accent them or put varnish on. They look wonderful. Yeah, when they're done like that, I am going to do another one actually, they are a bit thin. So, I'll just cut a bit out of some card and back them. What I might do is put some resin on them actually. While I go for my lunch. Because it's very sunny today and it's just coming oh just coming through now, so make the hole again because the resin uh fill in that anyway, so just sort of make them stand out a bit. You don't have to do this folks, it's just I quite like those little things. I have to do it quick because the sun's coming. Let the cure before I am um, do it. So I like to do one before I put them outside. You're supposed to wear gloves and everything. Okay, folks, don't do it like this. Um, but I'm only putting a little single coat on. Um, yeah, I like to, sorry, concentrating there. I like to do one coat with under the lamp and then I'll put them outside when I have my lunch and it will go in that hole so I'll make that again anyway
Alright, put that on. Wipe. I only do one coat. It's plenty. It's these little silicone. I think they're for nails. We've got them. It's great for pushing the silicone to where you want it to go. Okay. Because I've been doing earrings and things for Jaden. So, to sell in their Etsy shop. Well, they're actually to sell in the salon. So, I've been doing quite a bit for them. So, I enjoy all that. I'll have to show you some sometime. <laughs> Okay, so they're nice and dry now. Okay, I went and had my lunch and just popped them outside. I Like I said, I always put them under the, the light once. And if it's sunny, I'll put them outside. If not, I'll finish them off in there. It's just that it sort of sets them a bit for when you go outside in case you, case, um, you know, collect bits of dust or things like that. Um, I should be able to go through there. Sorry, I can hardly see myself. I'm gonna have to get out the sun. Sun is in my eyes. Sorry, folks, I'm off camera a bit. Okay. <laughs> um, might need a bigger one actually. What I'll do? Let's put this down a bit. These are quite big brads. I usually use small ones. Okay, right, I'm just going to eyeball it, so, and, well, I should, could have put that one straight in, silly me, I just um, wanted one in there to, for a guide, <laughs> so I could see. and I'll glue this one down. Put it on here, it just gets better. Getting that stitching then. I need a little bit of overhang there, look. Not much, but... Okay. Right, it's going to decorate. So that's going to go there. Um, I thought about having that there. sort of there it is sticker so I'll do that now and that's a vellum sticker so again it's not creating any more bulk right
Okay, a bit of string or jute string. Say I've got, should have one here. And I knot mine. Just have a little bit more. And cut it off. There we go. And that's going to go in the journal. Make the card a bit later on to go in it. Uh, nice simple thing and this is going to go, I think, in here. There we go. Let's pop that up there. A bit more. And that could actually slip over that yeah and then that will keep that there we go in place there set okay folks so i hope you enjoyed that and um speak to you all very soon bye